Hello everyone, this is Brooke and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Today I have a special video for you. Well, they're all special. To me they are. But I have one that I haven't done in a very long time, but it's been highly requested. Um, I'm going to do a what's in my bag video and it's going to feature my very brand new Damier Aben Delightful MM by Louis Vuitton. I recently bought this bag on October 3rd, which was uh, the day before my husband and I celebrated our 18th anniversary I showed you this bag or I did an unboxing video for it I will link it down below if you missed it but it was full of you know just me taking the bag out of the box for the first time kind of falling in love with it and uh, my very first impressions so what I'm going to do today is as quick as possible but it might be very long I'm sorry show you everything that I have in my bag that I currently carry with me or at least that I've been carrying for the last few days or so um, I'm gonna show you all of that which is a lot of stuff and hopefully at the end I'll still have time to give you a little bit more of my impressions of the bag now that I've been carrying it for just over a month um, to cut to the chase, I do love the bag. There's a lot about it that I want to talk about. It is the Damier Aben Delightful MM and the new model. It's got the, you know, nice wide strap here, which is very comfortable. It's got the um, bag charm that's on it all the time. And it's got this great big wide opening with one, um, latch in the middle so I'm gonna open that and believe me my bag is full I like big bags and I carry them with lots of stuff so you can see like all the stuff I have in there well can't really see because it's all dark but inside you can see the gorgeous red lining the large pocket and I'm just gonna start digging in so um, Another thing you want to know about me and my bag, you'll see that it's kind of pretty much a monogram Louis Vuitton party. I love all my SLGs and they're all in the basic monogram print, so here we go. First thing I'm grabbing is my Sarah wallet. This is in the older style and it is the monogram, like I said. It's got the um, four card slots here, which I use. It's got big pockets in there. A cash compartment in back which I do have cash I'm very proud of myself I usually don't um, a change compartment right down the middle and inside here for special cards I have my business card holder or my cart card holder it is the plain one um, with the monogram on both sides and it's got the pocket in the middle and a pocket on either side so that's my card holder and I just kind of keep it in the front slip there. So that's the Sarah wallet. Love it. The next thing I grab is my Louis Vuitton agenda. This is in the PM size. It's a six ring. I've done videos on my agenda and what I keep inside. So, um, you know, just I have some papers here. I have the Louis Vuitton refills and um, it's just pretty standard. I have a gold pencil here. I like to write in my agendas only with pencil and I do have a pencil here that fits. So it's great, it all works together for me, my agenda. Next I have, I have my Louis Vuitton cosmetic pouch and this is the small size. And I'm gonna quickly, quickly show you what I carry inside because I haven't seen the inside of this in a couple days, so I'm not quite sure what's in there. So let's find out together. Okay. So I have a Rimmel Color Rush Balm Stain. These are very, very good. I love these. I have lots of lip products. <laughs> I have a Revlon Just Spitten Lip Stain. Really good. I have a Blistex Deep Renewal Chapstick or Lip Balm. I have a MAC lip glass in Chocolat. I have another lip glass in Pop Mode by MAC. I have another Rimmel Color Rush Balm Stain in this pink color. I have a MAC lipstick in the color 
what is this color called? It's crossed off. Well, I have a MAC lipstick in here. I can't read the name of the color because it was a, when you back to MAC and they crossed off the name, but it is in this color right there. It's really pretty. It's a frost. It goes with everything, so I carry it in my bag. And I also have a black eyeliner, uh, a really cute mirror compact that says keep your heels high and your standards higher, and it's in pink. It's really cute. I have a Burt's Bees cuticle balm. I have Ultra Repair Cream, no, First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream hand cream. A NARS Deluxe Sample of a lip gloss in the color Priscilla. Really pretty. I have a Deluxe Sample of Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. A lot of times I'm rushing out of the door in the morning and I have to touch up my makeup at work so I'm all set. I've got a hair tie. I've got a Rimmel, a Kate Rimmel lipstick in the color, it's just number 29 and it looks like that. Didn't know I still had that in there. I need to empty this out. I have some bobby pins. Oh, I have a really deluxe size sample of the Naked uh, Urban Decay lip gloss in the color Naked. I have another one by Urban Decay in the color Naked. And lastly, I have my perfume that I like to wear, Yves Saint Laurent Parisienne in a spray, purse size spray. So that's that. And that is all that is in my cosmetic pouch and the lining on here is easy to wipe clean um, there is a little pocket on the side where I keep the tag uh, that it originally came with the textile tag so I just keep that in the side there so that is all that was in my cosmetic pouch and that's what I carry pretty much on a daily basis um, other thing I have in here is my eyeglass case and it's also the monogram it's the MM size and the sunglass case, or the sunglasses that I'm carrying, that I've been carrying for years, I'm contemplating getting a new pair of sunglasses soon, but they're the Louis Vuitton um, Flore Cat Eye sunglasses. They look like this. That's what those look like. And let's see what else I've got in here. Lots of stuff. We're, we're just starting. I've got my mini pochette, which I always keep clip to the D-ring inside the bag, but for right now I'll just clip it to the other side of the bag here. But it, this is my essentials bag. This is where I keep little odds and ends that I would need in an emergency. So like for instance, I have a sample size of fashion tape in case I need to tape something. Like if this was flopping around all day, I could just tape it to my blouse. And then I have band-aids. And I have mints. These are the Victoria's Secrets little mints. I have um, a lot of things in here to deal with my braces and keeping care of my braces. I have a disposable toothbrush, these uh, Wisp by Colgate. And I have floss picks. Floss picks. I have one of these purse holders so that you don't have um, your purse sitting on the ground. It's got a little big pink gem in the front but the joke about this is my purse is so heavy that this would break instantly if I tried to hang my purse from there. I've got um, the textile card for the Louis Vuitton for this bag. I've got some Benadryl because I'm allergic to everything. I need that just in case. I have a little um, nail clipper with the pink cover. I'd love that. And I have a this is for my braces. It's wax in case the wires are cutting my gums. Um, I can put that on there. Um, alcohol wipes. More floss or little picks for my braces. Um, I have more Benadryl. I have my pill box. It says I love Madrid. I got this with the, I think the last time I was in Madrid. A nail file. Um, toothpicks, garbage, um, another tooth, uh, it's like a plastic toothpick for my braces. And finally in here I have my pink Swiss Army knife. So it's got lots of little tools in there in case I need it, but 
That was all in my mini pochette. Okay, now I have, let's see here. Oh, I have, um, what is this one called? This is called, oh, the Zippy Coin Purse. And I don't think there's anything in here. Oh, my goodness. There's money. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, there, oh my gosh, $20. What I do is I carry this inside my pochette bag. So if I'm downsizing in a hurry, I will just um, throw this into a pochette bag and my driver's license and my debit card and, um, and some cash. And I must not have emptied it the last time. So I knew, I must have known I needed the cash in my bag. I don't know, but I have, and also a nickel, so I have $20 and five cents in here. That was fun, but that was my Zippy coin purse. I usually don't carry that. It's just in here for some reason. I don't know. Um, then, oh, on the side here, I have my keys. This is my key pouch. I got this the second time I went to Paris, second time at the Champs-Élysées store. Um, so this is my key pouch. This is where I keep my car keys. I also have my toiletry bag, toiletry 15 pouch, and in here I keep my vlogging camera. I went to Chicago last weekend for the makeup show and I thought I was going to do a lot of vlogging, which I didn't do any, but I brought along my camera in my toiletry bag. It's the perfect size um, to keep the, camera keep the camera and a few other you know, camera accessories in there. And the kind of camera I have is a Samsung. I'm not really sure it's Samsung, but it does this. And I love that. See? Um, so when I'm vlogging, I can see what I'm doing. Let me turn it back off. So that stays in this toiletry bag. And normally I don't carry this either. It's just that I thought I was going to do some vlogging last week. So I wanted to be prepared and carry that. I have an umbrella. This is my um, totes micro mini umbrella. I always carry an umbrella with me and I keep one of those in my car too. Um, my EpiPen, I carry this all the time because if I'm allergic to something and have a reaction, I need this and so I don't get into serious trouble. Um, I have my round coin purse and I'm not sure what I carry in here. Oh, I've got earbuds. Those are very handy to have. So I've got a pair of earbuds in there. Good to know that I've got... I'm like going through my purse. I didn't know I had all this stuff. So um, let's see what else I have. I have my business card holder and it's also in the monogram print by Louis Vuitton. And in here I don't carry my business cards. I actually keep my business cards in my small agenda. I keep my business cards on these slots right there for my work and my um, my YouTube and things like that. So over in this business card holder, I carry just rewards cards. So it carry it holds a ton, a ton of rewards cards in here. So that's why I like to keep those. Those are ones I don't use very often. Sorry. <laughs> um, let's see what else do I have in here? Okay. That's all I have in the main compartment. Now let's look in the zipper. Now the zipper on the Delightful is really nice because it goes all the way from top to bottom. So it's a really generous size and a lot can fit in here. Um, the first thing I have is my pen case and it is uh, what I use to hold my pens. Now I think I had someone ask me recently in the comments where did I get this from? Um, it's by Cross. It's, if you've heard of Cross pens, this is by Cross. I believe I got it on either Amazon or eBay from a dealer. And in it I have two Cross pens that look like this. It's a pink gingham. And they're really nice. I like to put my pens in something inside my bag because I'd be horrified if the ink broke and I messed up the interior of my bag. Otherwise I don't really baby my bags much. Um, whatever goes, goes, but I never ever want a pen mark inside my bag, so I always carry them in a pen holder. And this one is really nice. It's leather. It's really thick, so I know ink is not going to get through there. And it's got a magnetic closure, so it's always going to close shut and keep my bag safe. 
I also have my iPhone. Um, it's an iPhone 6. I love my phone. I'm always with it and doing things. So it's got the plain just case that goes around the sides and the back is open. I really need to get a more protective case, but I haven't seen anything cute enough lately. So when I do, I'll change the case. I also have an almost empty uh, Buxom lip gloss in Dolly that I keep in the pocket. I like to have this really, really handy because I love wearing their lip glosses and I love this color Dolly so much that I keep it in the pocket so I can just reach in and grab it. Oh, <laughs> this is, I forgot I had this in here, but you all know I have the watery eye. Actually, just to update, my eye hasn't been so bad lately. I had to go to an eye doctor, an ophthalmologist, to get it diagnosed with a blockage, and I did have a blockage in my eye, but I was able to get some of it flushed out. But anyway, while it was watering so much, I carry this t little pink rag to dab my eye so I don't have to use my fingers. And I always carry this, it's like a security blanket for me because I don't want my eyes breaking out into a watery mess and not being able to clean it up, so... I got a little pink rag with me and my work keys. There's a little sequined thing right there that's nice to carry them on, get me in my office. And I have, oh this is the key to my P.O. box and as you see it's got my logo on there, Pink to Paris. So I do have a P.O. box if you ever want to write me. It's always listed on the bottom in the description bar of my videos. So. I also have my house keys and they are on a Louis Vuitton keychain as well. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but it's uh, LV in pink. It is the Speer um, keychain and that's just where I keep my house keys because I keep them separate for some reason from my car keys. And that is it. That is all I have in my bag. It's a lot shorter of a video than I thought it would be, but this is what the inside looks like. I got little pieces of lint or something in there. But this is what the bag looks like on the inside. It's nice that it's red, especially since I carry all this dark monogram because I can see what I'm looking for really fast. Um, it's a great size if you like really big bags. It's a nice big opening. You know, I've always been used to the Neverfull and I thought that after I bought this that I should have bought a Neverfull, but I am so glad that I got the Delightful one for variety and two because it seems like it carries a lot of stuff with ease um, the shoulder strap took me a little while to actually get used to the big wide shoulder strap um, not that it wasn't comfortable but because it slides off my shoulder or it did slide off my shoulder i find that the longer you let it break in the better it's able to just cling to your body and stay put and also the more stuff you carry weighs it down and keeps it on your shoulder. Um, so after that first couple weeks I did not have much of a problem carrying my bag and keeping it on my shoulder. The Neverfull is nice because those thin straps kind of like dig into you. Um, it's not the nicest feeling in the world but you know your bag is going to stay put. Um, I really like having bags that open up and don't have zippers. Um, you know, zippers are nice, but it's a really nice thing to be able to reach inside your bag and grab whatever you want. And the nice thing with this or with the Neverfull is when it opens, it usually kind of folds over itself when you're holding it. it us the top usually folds over itself like this, so no one else can reach in your bag. Um, hard to explain, but you know, if you've got this, just picking it up naturally, it folds over itself and you um, don't have a problem with it being wide open. Um, a few details about the bag. Louis Vuitton, you can't probably see it, but it is stamped right in there. I think that's a really nice touch. Big brass rings over here that are a great touch as well. I usually carry a bag charm on all my bags. Whenever I carry a bag, I always have a bag charm. But this one's got one built in that kind of works for me. And otherwise I might tie a bandeau here too. But it's a simple bag that's got some really great details. And as you see, it can hold a lot. 
um, it, it gets really squishy with time. It's very, very lightweight. And um, I'm just really, really super glad that I got this. Now, um, would I ever buy another Neverfull? Of course. <laughs> I probably would because I love those bags too. But surprisingly, um, after I got over that initial phase of, did I do the right thing? I definitely feel like I did. I love my Delightful. I love that it's a little more unique and that it adds a little more variety to my collection. Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful week and stay in touch and I will be back soon with another video. Thanks. Bye bye.